today from Empower Field at Mile High in Denver. It's week 15 of the NFL on EA Sports. Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. We find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Just a short time ago, sounds loud enough to reverberate across the Rockies. They're ready for football in Denver as the Broncos get set to do battle with the Cincinnati Bengals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. But the way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a seven-time Pro Bowl quarterback in his 10th NFL season now. That's Russell Wilson. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl-type season, and maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. On first down, Wilson. He completes this to Sutton. For Sutton, the receiving numbers from last week's game. Six catches, 108 for the yardage and the score, too. And he's trying to prove the adage is not just how you start, it's how you finish. And he is finishing awfully strong, takes great care of his body. I expect him to go ahead and put a cap around this season. Second and one, if people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Play action. Now Wilson. He'll buy some time right. He finds his man complete. That's Sutton. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. With a glimpse of his athleticism there and what they're going to have to deal with, he can use his legs to dance around back behind the line of scrimmage and beyond the line of scrimmage. And wouldn't you love to get a copy of their defensive scouting report going into the week? Because that's been stressed the whole time. Keep him bottled up. Keep him in the pocket. But it's the first drive of the game and emotions are running high. Someone forgot that, trying to make a big play and gave up a bigger one instead. Off the play fake, here's Wilson sliding out of the pocket. This will be caught, Judy. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. 18 yards on each of the last two plays, and they're picking up big chunks now. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And now a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They go play action with Wilson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Eric Tomlinson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They've got that momentum going, a touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. We're going to have to make some adjustments if you're on the other side of that football. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Time to see the Bengals offense go to work and leading them out the number one overall pick in the 2020 draft. Joe Burrow now his second season out of LSU. And I'll get right now just one thought in his mind. 
win the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. He played pretty well. I mean, he didn't turn over the ball in terms of interceptions, no, two right? touchdown passes Two last touchdown week. passes, but when your team doesn't win, that's just hollow. And the best quarterbacks don't care about anything but whether or not their team won. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Six catches, 87 yards. That was a nice job there pulling that one in. Now, this is an offense that will certainly spread the ball around a bit. And this is a guy the defense has had better focus on. And he's got a Bengals first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. From the gun to give to Mixon. Uses the stiff arm. Still fighting for more. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. A gain of six there on first. On second down, Mixon. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Burrow looking to pass. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Touchdown, Bengals. Tyler Boyd, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He's going to drop this one down to Gordon. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. To throw again is Wilson. Rolling to his right. Throw to the right here to Gordon. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Broncos. 
Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes. And the Broncos have taken the lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. The Bengals drive about to get going. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They go play action with Burrow. Blitz coming, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of five there as the safety blitz winds up paying off. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. On third down, Burrow. He's going to air one out. Oh, wide open, complete. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Hayden Hurst, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Hamler now to return it. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Now Wilson. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And he will have the Broncos first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now the handoff comes to Gordon. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Second and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. That's complete, Okure Buna. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson gets it to Gordon. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Again, Wilson finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 32-yard line. 
Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Throwing again on second down. Wilson will get that complete to Albert O. just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. And the Broncos are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Flush to his right, and he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. On second and goal, Wilson flushed it. Touchdown! That's caught. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Broncos have broken the tie. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the Bengals are going to take over here up near the 40. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Throwing again on second and ten. Burrow out of his hands quickly to Higgins. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. And this is caught at the 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals draw even. And, of course, they can take the lead if they hit the extra point. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that will give him the lead here as we get on towards halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Hamler now to return it. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go as they go to work with 12 seconds on the clock. They'll roll him out right. And he's got his big tight end here. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Final play of the half, it's Wilson finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish. As it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll start out west at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, where it was the visiting Chiefs who come in and get the victory on the road. Patrick Mahomes, excellent in the W, as his guys get victory number 12 on the year. From there, we head over to the West Coast. Check out the Niners at home at Levi Stadium. And at this point, they trail the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Baker Mayfield with a couple of touchdown passes. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie. See what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. And things didn't go so well as it was the visiting Raiders 
who come in and grab the victory. Derek Carr, excellent in the victory, as it's one that pushes his guys two games above 500. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. Brandon Wilson now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moved. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. T. Higgins. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Bengals come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And the lead is up to eight. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Now Wilson on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Patrick. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw taken in here by Patrick. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. A huge play there for Denver. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Wilson. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who threw it. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. Wilson will throw again. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Tim Patrick is a rubber touchdown on the year. And now the Broncos are within a two-point conversion of tying up the game. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And so they run it in on the two-point try. And so often, Charles, we talk about, from the offense's perspective, what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. They want you to make a quick decision and make it right now. There, the offense wins the battle for two. They'll try to get the run game going. This is Mixon. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And that falls to the ground incomplete. 
A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. 46 yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. And the numbers for the last drive, and he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well, no one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them, and the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter or a perfect game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 42. Play action. It's Wilson. He'll buy some time right. That one's complete to Tomlinson. Three yards the game there, second down. Throwing again here, Wilson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Trey Hendrickson has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Enough takes a start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. On second and 12, Burrow. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Randy Gregory in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. This pass complete to Higgins. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And coming out now, the Broncos. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now Gordon on first down. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. 
They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And he is going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals' 20-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. It hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. Ball on the eight, second and two. They go play action now. Wilson sliding out of the pocket. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. Touchdown, Broncos. Jerry Judy, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Broncos will extend their lead. And that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Well, the Bengals offense getting set and ready to go again here. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And the Bengals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Got a man open. It's Chase. His second catch. This one not quite as dynamic as his first. And it's second down. To the air again, Burrow. He's got Higgins over the middle. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there for Cincinnati. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Burrow on play action. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. It'll go as nearly a loss of ten on first and goal. So a disaster there. It goes as a nine-yard loss on the sack. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Mixon on the toss right. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now to this point. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. P. Ryan. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. McPherson's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. The Broncos and Cortland Sutton heading back out there. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. 
But look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because not only is he catching them, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. Been, seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. Play action. Now Wilson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Trey Hendrickson in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Rolling to his right. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. Now a fair catch taken, maybe a yard or two shy of midfield. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. So Burrow and the Bengals down by seven. A minute 54 on the clock. A possible crippling loss to their playoff status in the balance, barring a late score. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Airing one out for Boyd. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And the Broncos have just about sewn up this football game. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, but it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. Folks in New York is going to wind up confirming what the officials saw as this play will stand as is. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Wilson. They'll roll him out right. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. He'll find Sutton on the right side complete. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Wilson wants to throw it. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Wilson to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, 
A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Complete to Boyd. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Burrow. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. And he will get out of bounds. That stops the clock, but two-yard gains definitely not what you're looking for at this juncture. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. And I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Kyle Fuller. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Rolling to his right. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. It's a big play there for the Broncos. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Denver, they continue to roll as the win gets them to 12-2 on the year. And they will 